is someone you want us to hire, isn't it? Yes. Who? Me. I am studying English literature. What? what? Guess where? Trinity! Let's get back. See you later. God, I'm good. I lock in. Good luck, and you're a genius! Hello? But Jeff's okay. He's fine. Said they came out of nowhere. It was dark, quick. I wish I could say I was painless. How much was in here? Fifteen. A hundred? Thousand. But insurance will cover it. I'll never get insurance for that kind of cash on site. Seriously, shut <laughs> What the hell happened? We were robbed. What did they get? Not much, just some cash. They made Jeff open the safe, then beat him up and locked him in the storeroom. Oh, poor Jeff. Speak of the devil. I thought I told you to take some time off. Well, I missed my 15 minutes of fame. No chance. Ouch. That looks sore. Oh, it is, man. Yeah. You should see the other guy. We know what happened, Jeff. I got roughed up. It's character for me. Have you had that checked out or had an x-ray? X-ray? Ray? It's a black eye, mate. A bruise. Hey, go make me a coffee. Excuse me. I need you to make sure word of this doesn't get out. I'll have creditors in here like a shot with a coat off my back. Done. Check the casual staff rota, see who we can drop. Then what? Then I ring the bank, ask for clemency if they don't go for it. We think of something else. As in? You tell me, Ray. Earn your commission. OK. We increase customer turnover and rationalize the menu. How? This place is popular. You could easily get away with two sittings. It's not really our style. Every other restaurant in town has been doing it for years. You won't lose any regulars. People will be loyal to you. <sighs> we'll run it by Jeff. But be prepared for a battle. He's not a fan of the mainstream. Fiona, it won't be enough. What? Your wages bill is your biggest expense. You need to let someone go. Absolutely not. Desperate times. We're not desperate yet. You'll never say just what it is that keeps you distant. Since when did duty managers get off on strategizing? Since a couple of thugs came trick-or-treating, just listen to what he has to say. Oh, I am. It seems to me he's trying to turn the place into a conveyor belt. We're just trying to keep the doors open, Jeff. What, by losing our identity, serving the kind of food you can get anywhere? By taking the fuss and pretension out of the menu. No shit, Sherlock. Burgers. Organic venison burgers with lime and coriander sauce. A rose by any other name still smells like a cheap special, Fiona. Oh, bangers and a mash. Served with leek and shellac crushed potatoes and a rocket and water cress salad. Don't tell me it's organic. Actually, yes. look, I appreciate what you're trying to do here, Raymond. I really do. But this stuff, it's generic. It's affordable and profitable at a time when food prices are volatile and your margins are razor thin. Ooh. OK, I'll throw your bone. I can see you the two sittings, yeah? But this stuff, I wouldn't serve it in an old folks home. That's your ego talking, Jeff. This isn't about you as a chef. It's about the bottom line. Well, if raw doesn't stay distinctive, there'll be no bottom line. Stick to what you know, mate. I'll design us a menu that won't cost much and won't cost us our bloody reputation. Well, let's just think about it, Jeff, OK? Hopefully we'll get some good news from the bank and we'll be back on track. So I'm going to clean up this bloody mess? Ah. Yes, sorry, Chef. The, uh, the guard was here and I could have thought, you know, crime scene. I'll do it right away. Fifteen thousand. This is bad. Someone's for the high jump. No doubt. Right, doesn't he just indulge Ray in his gastro nursery shite? If Ray wants to flip burgers, he can go to the diner at the end of the road. And if he tries to sack him, we're all going to strike. It's gonna be me. Last in, first out. I was last in. You're safe. Your family. Yeah, that doesn't always count for much. Ray's taking over my patch. There'll be no need for me. Potent. 
too much on my music, not enough on my job. What could be any more? Look, just keep the head down, work hard, and hopefully it'll all be over. Pancakes. <clears throat> Peach and cream cheese tortilla. What do you think, Chef? What? Post pancakes. Uh, they look great. One eggs, Benedict, two gazpacho, two pancakes with crispy bacon and maple syrup. Dessert special. I'll do the prep. You take five. Jeff. I want you to go home, I want you to rest, and I want you to see a doctor. But Fiona, no I'll buts. Pavel will take you. What about my job? Do you think I'm going to fire you? We're not firing anyone, Pavel. OK, it's been raised, hypothetically. We're doing our best to make sure it doesn't happen. But it might happen. Okay. Okay, listen up, everyone. Jeff's gonna take some time off. Jojo, your head chef. Shane, your Sue. Thank you. All right, don't stand on ceremony. Shane, you finish what you're at and take over my station. Richard, you just keep going. Um... You know, I am fine, Pavel. I really don't need a babysitter. <laughs> I know. I'm going to make you a nice, nourishing lunch. Right, that'll completely finish me off. <laughs> Something with dumplings and some meat. And I'll make a special sauce with the herbs. Jeff? Jeff? Where are you going? I don't, I don't know. Jeff? Let's go straight home. Get the duck to come to you. Said about the breaking. What's the damage? Uh, just a uh, black eye and a cash flow problem. I don't think I'll be able to prep the food tonight. Jeff's gone home. Ah. Oh. No headaches. No dizziness. Mm -mm. How are his vital signs? His <laughs> uh, vital signs are uh, very strong. No concussion. No temperature. Apart from the shock, you're strong as an ox. Mm. He hasn't slept since it happened. Yeah, it's to be expected. But you do need to get as much rest as possible. It's not easy for a workaholic, Doc. Mm. Now, these are just some very mild anti-anxiety pills. They'll help you unwind. And here's my card. Call me if you need to. Thanks. No problem. I'll show you out. Jack. Yes. <laughs> Most people think I'm Polish. Even Jeff. Yeah, it's a nice accent. Uh, thank you. But it's not what Jeff wanted. <clears throat> what? It isn't. You can't just go changing everything because he's been assaulted. I'm not changing everything. I'm merely simplifying a few of his signature dishes. And making us do two sittings. Turn us into a factory now. With Jeff and Fiona's approval. Jojo, I've been running restaurants since long before you picked up your potato peeler. Yeah? Not one of your restaurants is even still open. Well, then you'll appreciate that I know the warning signs. It's a bit over the top. Ray, I know we've been robbed. We're a long way of going under. Jojo, do you have any idea how much trouble this place is in? A shitload. So this isn't the time for defending Jeff's artistic vision. It's the time for this. What are you winding him up for? Yeah, I thought we were supposed to be keeping our heads down. You are keeping your heads down so you can get a good look at the space between your legs where your balls used to be. Jeff? Thank you. I don't want any of those. Doctor's orders. I don't do pills, Pavel. Not aspirin, not vitamins, and definitely not tranquilizers. It's not doing pills. It's taking medicine. And you need to sleep. Take one. No. I'd rather sit here rocking and shivering. Take one. 
Or I'll go in the kitchen and I'll make you my famous chick tripe soup. <laughs> oh, anything but that. Mm. Mm. Dr. Jack was kind of nice. Yeah. You should ask him out. Yeah, well, firstly, I think there's rules about that sort of thing. Secondly, he's straight. Oh, he's not. He knew I was Czech. What, just because he's got a good ear doesn't mean he's gay. Trust me, I know these things. I could have sworn you wish. You and Jeff. Yes? You're friends, right? Yes. Friends who once had feelings for each other. Yes. So would you be like, I don't know, raging if he hooked up with someone else? No. I want him to find someone else. I want him to be happy. Of course you do. Say it was someone strikingly annoying who you have a major issue with. Somehow I get the feeling we are not talking about me anymore. What would you do? Nothing. Interfering between two people who have seen each other naked. They haven't. Okay, who are dreaming about each other naked. Just get to the point. It will backfire. You will lose a friend. The place is jumping, lads. Keep this up, you'll all get your wages on time. We don't mind waiting, right? Yeah, as long as it's going well, right? That's the main thing. Miss me? I've been away very long. Uh, yeah, you should be resting. Got sick of being on a duvet day. Oh, new menu. So you got your way? Hooray. <sighs> Look, Jeff, we've already doubled the average covers for a weeknight. There's people queuing up and there's money in the till. It's working. You've seen it for yourself. Yeah, I have, mate. It's very impressive. But next time, we do it with my menu, yeah? OK, thanks a minute, Christy. Jeff, what are you doing back? Your office. Great, you too. Words out, we're on our uppers. Whatever's coming in is going straight back out again. Oh, shit, how did it get out so soon? If you can't take a piss in Dublin without everyone hearing about it. I hate to admit it, but Ray's right. We're going to have to cut the wages bill. Ray tells me that Shane is struggling. No. Not Shane. Not anyone from my kitchen. You let one of the waiters go. You think I'd be carrying plates if we too many waiters? Shane's inexperienced and you're paying the price. Shane may not be the best chef in the world. In fact, he's not even my favourite person in the world. But he's a great team player. He's staying, Fiona. Front of house is understaffed. It has to be someone from the kitchen. Right. If we lose anyone from the kitchen, we're not going to keep up with the two sittings. They're struggling enough as it is. That's why people are cocking up, mate. All right, guys. Put them away. What, do you want to sack Shane? I don't want to sack anyone, but we've no choice. We're cornered. We'll decide who goes at the end of service. Are you just going to roll over and side with him on everything? Absolutely, if it saves us from extinction, Jeff. And you do well to stop fighting him and do the same. Shane. Shane. What? Richard. No more screw-ups, all right? Your job's on the line. Listen, I don't know why I can't focus. It's... Well, maybe I do. Is this thing with Kate? Yeah, I'm going to stop you right there, mate, all right? This is a warning. Not a chance for you and me to buddy up. I'm not interested in the trivial minutia of your short-lived romance, OK? Yes, yeah, Chef. Oi, toots, out. Jeff, someone here to see you. What's up, Doc? Just thought I'd check up on you. It's on my way home. Oh, that's very sweet, above and beyond. Turns out all I needed was a power nap. 
Really? Yeah. Nerves of steel, mate. Come into my office. Mm. Counselling. <laughs> I'd rather go naked bungee jumping off the spike, mate. It's a safe place to talk about your feelings after a traumatic event. It is navel-gazing wankology for lost souls, and it ain't for me, pal. <clears throat> Quite the pusher, aren't you, Doctor? They're for emergencies, OK? Fine, for emergencies. Guarantee you won't be using them. So, are you and Pavel, um... We're just friends, mate. Oh, good. I'm gonna make this easy for you, Doctor. Would you like to come for a drink with me? Oh, uh... <laughs> I was actually going to ask Pavel out. I know. And he'll probably say yes, so you should get out there and ask him. <laughs> Thank you. So who's going to be, then? How are we supposed to choose? I'm so sorry, lads. I tried everything. It's okay. We understand. Now we tiny. We love working here. We learned loads and we had a laugh. Now we tiny. Okay, well call me if you need anything. Thanks, Fiona. Are you just gonna let that guy take over? Oh, he's not taking over. He's saving us from extinction, apparently. Yeah, it's more work for us, though. Plenty of people queuing up for your job if you don't want it, lady. <sighs> so, I was right. Dr. Jack likes the checks. Oh, yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Yes, you were. Must have been the bang on the head that screwed up your gay doll. Yeah, it must have been. Oh, yeah. Pavel? Yeah? Oh, hi. <laughs> Jesus, Shane. Trying to give me a heart attack? Sorry. Bloody hell. What's wrong? Should have been me. Well, I wouldn't worry. Another day like today, and it probably will be. Thanks for sticking up for me, by the way. It's all right. I need a whipping boy. I'm going down the pub, buy the lads a drink. Well, thanks for the update. You want to come? I should put a memo out, shouldn't I? I don't need a bloody minder. Well, no, you don't. How would you like to be head chef? Here. Don't worry, I can't think of a dad, no. I'm not sure you can. Actually, you'd be king of your own castle. Be with the lads. I don't know. I have a lot to learn. What, about fast food? Mm -hmm. I've been given a chance at raw. I'm not going to just walk out and not know. Sorry. You know, we should go out dancing tonight. The four of us. It's a great idea. Like a double date. I thought, um, I thought we were going home, spending our first night in our new house. 
Yeah, well, I just thought this would be more fun. Bob's? Uh... You know, I'm... I'm hanging. Another night? Yeah, okay, deal. Emptiness within I feel the twilight The sun has promises to keep